Hello boys and girls, a bit of a difference this video because Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang has signed a new contract at Arsenal. Yes! We can finally put it to bed. We can finally stop talking about it. We can finally stop listening to people say that he's going to leave and go somewhere else. He doesn't have a year left on his contract. He has signed a new contract. Aubameyang is staying at Arsenal. This will be the biggest signing of the summer for Arsenal. End of story. Where would you replace his goals? You tell me who we're going to buy for under £100 million that could score the goals that Aubameyang scores. You simply are not going to replace him. End of. It's brilliant. I am so happy. And I'll tell you something. A lot of this has to be credited towards Mikel Arteta. Because if it wasn't for him, if it wasn't for his vision, and it wasn't for the way that, you know, he's ended the season when he took over, Aubameyang wouldn't have signed. He would have moved on. He would have gone somewhere else. So he'd have run down his contract. It's as simple as that. But what Mikel Arteta has done is that he showed Aubameyang ambition. He showed what he wants to do with this team. Now, Aubameyang has the opportunity of becoming one of Arsenal's greatest players. And I don't say that lightly. He genuinely can. Yes, he's 31 years old. But he doesn't play like a 31-year-old. You only have to look at the stats and everything that Arsenal have been, you know, looking at in terms of what they want to see with the new contract. He is in his peak right now. One factor about Aubameyang, which has been throughout his career, is his injury record. It's been phenomenal. No major injuries. Now, because of this, and another reason with him playing for Gabon, is that they're not always involved in major tournaments, World Cups, there's no Euros. Yes, there's the African Cup of Nations, but in terms of his international football career, he might not be playing as many games as what a European player may, you know, play, for example, or a team that's high up in the World Cups and stuff like that. So when you tie that all together, it means that he's been able to play football at a decent, you know, percentage in terms of how much he's played. He's not been burnt out. So he's playing like a 28-year-old. He's still got the speed, the ability, the awareness, everything, the goal scoring. You know, so when you tie that together, he doesn't play like a 31-year-old. Now, can he go and catch Thierry Henry, for example. Yes, he could go and catch Thierry Henry. He could certainly go and catch Ian Wright. A lot of people forget that when Ian Wright joined Arsenal, he was about 29 years old, you know, and he went on to score a ridiculous amounts of goals. You only have to look at the stats for Aubameyang. If he carries on at the ratio he's carrying on at, then he seriously could. This season coming... Aubameyang could break 100 goals for Arsenal already. And that would be in just over three seasons. That is phenomenal. You look at his all-time stats for Arsenal, okay? And they're just ridiculous. He's played 109 games. He scored 70 goals in all competition with 15 assists. 70 goals. If he scores 30 in all competitions this season, he will have had 100 goals for Arsenal already. Are you mad? You see why I'm so happy that this guy has signed. If you look in the Premier League alone, all right, his stats as well are insane. The last two full seasons that he's had with us, he's played 36 out of 38 Premier League games. So again, that emphasises what I said about his injury record and how many games he's played. In both of those full seasons, he scored 22 Premier League goals. The first one, he won the Golden Boot with Mo Salah and 
uh, Seado Mane. This season, he missed out on the Golden Boot by one. Um, player of the Month, a couple of times in there as well. Um, his total appearances in the Premier League are 85 and he scored 54 goals. When he joined us in January of 2018, um, he played 13 games and he scored 10. <laughs> really? And some people want to question this guy. Are you mad? Are you smoking weed? Honestly, the guy is world class. I've said it already. For me, the best striker in the Premier League. His ratio is ridiculous. No other player has scored as many goals as Aubameyang in England in that period since he's joined. Since January 2018, he scored 70 goals. Mo Salah has scored 68. That's the closest to him. Nobody has got near him. Ridiculous. I think his stat for goals per minute is 64 minutes. Every 64 minutes, a Bamiyang scores. Now, a lot of people talk about Harry Kane. No problem whatsoever that he plays for Spurs. He's a quality striker. I'm not going to deny that. But he scores a goal every 68 minutes. We're up now. Come on. Listen, I'm absolutely buzzing because this is just so nice to get it done and dusted, to finish and to not talk about it anymore to you know look at the bigger picture going forward and Aubameyang is a part of that and it's as simple as that and I could not be any more happier than I am um you go into the detailed stats um over the course of the Premier League and we're going to stick with the Premier League here and not overall um but like I said he scored 54 goals um three of those are with his head uh, 43 um, are with his right foot and 8 are with his left foot. And he's only scored 7 penalties. Um, he scored 1 free kick. He's had 218 shots. And he's had 101 on target. Um, his shooting accuracy is 46%. He's hit the woodwork 8 times. And he's missed 39 big chances. Um, his discipline. Uh, 3 yellow cards, 1 red card, 28 fouls. And 53 offsides. Um, his team play. Um, he has 12 assists. 1,826 passes. Um, he averages 21.48 passes per match. And he's created 16 big chances. And he's also put in 148 crosses. What can I say? The guy's world class. We have a world class player on our hands. And I really cannot say no more than that. The goals per match ratio, 64 minutes. That is phenomenal. Phenomenal when you think about it. It's like the other one that you would talk about would be Sergio Aguero. Um, now, of course, he he has had some injuries and everything else. Um, but it'd be interesting to see what his stats are. Um, and again, goals per match, 68 minutes. Aubameyang surpasses all of them. Now, Aguero is a benchmark in terms of what he's doing. He's played 263 games in the Premier League with 180 goals. Um... But look at the team he's playing in. Aubameyang's record is phenomenal. And I'm going to compare it as well to somebody else that's scoring goals for fun in the uh, Premier League. But we look at Jamie Vardy, for example, a player we nearly signed. Um, and the season just gone. You've got to remember that he actually won the Golden Boot. Um, and you're looking at his goals per match. And you're looking at his goals in total as well and they're unbelievable what Jamie Vardy's done where you think that where he's came from but Aubameyang is right in there with all of them so it's unbelievable and um yeah Vardy's uh 211 appearances 103 goals um assists 29 
unreal when you think of that as well. But Abamyang, it's about time people put some respect on his name, man. Honestly, put some respect on his name. Pierre Emerick Abamyang is an Arsenal player. He has signed a new contract. All of you that said he was going to leave and everything else, shut up because he's signed. And I can't say no more. I'm absolutely buzzing. Um, let's hope we go and do some more of these videos with loads of signings here or there and everything else. Who knows? I may well have pre-recorded them already in the hope that they sign. But listen, I'm buzzing. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang has signed a new contract at Arsenal. He's an Arsenal player. We can now stop that talk, move forward and get on with the new season. And how big will this be? It will be a buzz to the team. Everybody surrounding the club is huge. And players that we could potentially be bringing in as well will see this and go, yeah, you know what? I want to be a part of that project. So there we go. That is it. And um, Aubameyang is an Arsenal player. Still signed a new contract. Um, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you smash a like on this video. And I will see you lot soon. I'm out of here.